we got the caution out, and yeah, it's been a very bad day for Martin Truex and the Napa crew, and you can see just how bad. Yeah, they might have yeah. killed at that time. Yeah, it, it looks pretty bad this time as he's going to head for the garage. So our seventh caution. Oh, no, and Jeff Gordon. Where in the oh, world? He's over at the exit oh, of turn two, and Jeff Burton involved. This had to happen yeah, at the opposite the back end straight of the away. Guys, we just wrecked on the back stretch. 24 cut up in front of me and caught my right front fender, my left front. Man, that's devastating for these two. Dead gun. Look at this cars are destroyed. So Jeff Gordon, who hasn't won, his last Good race picture. was that he won was here. It's been 62 races since his last victory, and it isn't going to happen today. All right. Here's the first part with Martin Truex, and all our eyes are down to the left. Yeah, he yeah. kind of pounded that wall. We knew the caution was going to come out. And it's really hard to tell if he blew another tire or if he just got loose and jumped up into the wall. And while we're looking left, over on the right side of the track, here's what happened with Gordon and Burton. Well, I don't know about that. Wow. Hard contact for the 24. Looked to me like Burton did that on purpose. No, it looked like the 24 slid up in front maybe and then jumped out of the gas as the caution came out. That's a pretty good lick, too. I don't know if maybe they made a little contact earlier. Well, Jeff is out of the car and appears to be okay. And looks like, like I said, that could have been that caution came out right at that time as he was making that pass. And Jeff doesn't look very happy right here. Now, they were running 18th and 19th at the time of this crash. So we have a multiple incident at both ends of the speedway for our seventh caution here at Texas. And Jeff making his well, way. Well, you know, there was an ambulance at Jeff's car. He's walking over to Those Jeff Burton. They're all Burton's. mad at us because the way we raced him in three and four, and he pulled up beside us and just tried to fake like he was going to turn into us coming off of two, and that's what caused all that crap back there. The car is over and done with now. We'll just get her fixed and roll on. Yeah, this, well, it's not uh, Jeff Burton. I mean, Jeff Gordon's not happy at all. And they're going to go and talk it out here. Oh, uh -oh. and this is. Uh oh. Well, we've got a fight breaking out. Yeah, Jeff's not happy. Jeff, Jeff Gordon not happy with hap what happened there. Official stepping in between, but this is far from over. I mean, there weren't even words exchanged. This was in your face. I saw that coming because there was an ambulance behind Jeff Gordon's car for him to get in. He walked over there to the other one that they had for Jeff Burton. They are fighting. Okay. Well, both of them now will make the mandatory ride to the infield care center. I don't, I don't know if I'd put them in the same ambulance. But this could be fun for the officials. I don't know if that was a good idea or not. You made mention there was another. So yeah, you see the, the ambulance. Yeah, the there's the other ambulance on the upper there's right. There's another one right there. All right, let's go back and take a look at this again. You can see right here, Jeff Gordon, well, look at he has gone up in front. I'm telling you, that's a hard Jeff lick Burton. Jeff Gordon took, too. It looked like the caution was already out. I'm just not sure if something didn't happen a little earlier that kind of provoke Jeff Burton. Yeah, you'd have to think that this started before that. And I've never seen this out of Jeff Gordon. Man, he just, there was no talk. That's about two of the most unlikely guys you would expect to see in this situation. And I'm sorry, folks, I'm not good at reading lips, so I can't tell you what well, they're you saying. You can repeat what was said there, part of it. You can kind of imagine what they're saying. I mean, I really don't blame Jeff Gordon. I mean, he got hammered in the wall right there, and I don't really know why. There's what's left of the 31, and the 24 doesn't look any better. There are no winners in that one. A really big moment of the race. Here we go! After the bing, caution bing, came bing. out <laughs> for Martin Truex being involved in a crash, this happened wow. on the cooldown. Jeff Burton just used up Jeff Gordon there uh, for whatever the incident was before that. And uh, Mr. Gordon's not too happy. He goes down and... 
He's going to try to cauliflower Jeff Burton's ears here for him. <laughs> Luckily, we had two uh, oh, officials man. down there, and these boys are not happy. Woo! Get it well, on! It will be interesting to hear both sides of this. Expect we'll hear from Jeff Gordon and Jeff Burton momentarily as they both come out of the care center. <laughs> oh, Jeff got a little feisty there. I've never seen him like that. Gordon, well, he was going to whoop you one night like well, that. Well, when I, when I, <laughs> the only time I've ever seen him is when I spun him out in Richmond. That's he, right. had, he had it coming, though. Yeah, he did have it coming. Okay. All right, so we'll uh, we'll see what happens here and uh, who says what. Looks have like, at it, boys. Looks like Gordon is going to go elsewhere for a moment, and Jeff Burton's going to step into the scrum, Jamie. Well, both drivers have been released. Jeff Gordon going back to his hauler. We'll catch up with him in a moment. But, Jeff, what happened? We just saw the replays of you two. Well, we came off turn four, and, and it's really hard to see off turn four, and he drove underneath me. And um, when he drove underneath me, I should have let him go, and I didn't. The caution came out, and he pulled up next to me to, to tell me that he was upset at me. And then he went he went on, then I went to pull up next to him to you know to acknowledge him to say he was right. And I I turned left and he was turning left and we just hung up and when we hung up off we went. It was uh I don't I honestly don't know what happened. It was my it was my fault, one hundred percent it was my fault. It's like once we got together, I couldn't I couldn't get it off of him. I didn't mean to hit him. I made a pull up to him and tell him he was right because he was upset at me for what happened off turn four. And uh, I should have let him go because you can't see over there right now and you don't need to be side by side. And, you know, he um, I don't blame him for being mad. I'd have been mad, too. What happened afterwards when you saw him walking towards you? <laughs> well, like I said, I knew he was going to be mad and uh, I don't blame him for being mad. He didn't do anything that he shouldn't have done. He was upset and he should have been upset. I wrecked him under caution. I didn't mean to wreck him, but I wrecked him under caution. And uh, he meant to tell me he was upset, and that you know that was okay. I don't have I don't have a, I don't have a bitter problem with what he did. He was mad. And he should have been mad. Did you guys have any words in the medical center? Well, I have a lot of respect for Jeff, and um, you know I think he has a lot of respect for me. Um, we talked, and you know he's still upset. And I don't like I said I don't blame him. He understands what happened more now, and um, you know it is what it is. All right, thanks, Jeff Burton. Uh, takes total blame there, and Alan. We're going to try to catch up with Jeff Gordon if we can for the end of this race. All right, Jamie. Thank you. So um, well, so he didn't use him up. I thought uh, that that explains it. I mean, I guess they just got hooked together. Well, they need couldn't, to hustle on over and grab a hold of uh, Jeff Gordon. I want to yeah. hear from him real quick. <laughs> that that is as blunt. <laughs> Uh, an explanation, as you'll hear yeah. from Jeff Burton. But I guess what else would you expect from from him? Yeah, I, I mean, too bad. Tough, one of those tough incidents, but it uh, tore up two good race cars. But Jeff Burton's taking full responsibility. So uh, I'm sure when Jeff Gordon cools off, he'll it, it looks like the bumpers did get hooked together. Jeff just couldn't get away from him because the 31 car just went straight up. Yeah, he did. Well, I thought he was using him up. Now they got locked together, Brad. Yeah. Here's the thing. Both of those crews have jumped all over both of those wrecked race cars to see if they can repair them and get them back out because they're fighting for positions in the final standings and as we've documented before all right we've caught up with Jeff Gordon Vince well Jeff Jeff Burton told us that uh, it was definitely his fault he owned up to that but what was your perspective of uh, what happened there and the reason you were so angry obviously uh, I'll walk you right through it you know we went down into three he went wide going into three I got to the inside of him I mean there was four car widths between us and he drove from the wall all the way down to me almost in the you know second groove up and I didn't understand why and so we got down the caution came out we went down in turn one and I just went up and drove up next to him I didn't even touch him and uh, I don't know I guess he was just really frustrated with the way his car was handling or something and I mean he just drove into my right rear and put me in the wall under caution I'm you know of all the people out there I never thought that it would happen with Jeff Burton I mean I, I've always had a tremendous amount of respect for him but I certainly lost a lot of respect today and you know, I don't think we're going to be able to fix the DuPont Chevrolet. I mean, we were battling it enough as it was, but I really had confidence we were going to be able to, to battle back and, um, you know, and get a decent finish, maybe top 10 or 15, but certainly not going to happen today. After scuffling outside and then the two of you get in the ambulance together, what was said there? Well, I, I was walking towards him, and I started going through all the scenarios in my mind. Thankfully, I had a long walk down there to him because I thought I did about the least amount that I wanted to do. You know, I wanted to show him how upset I was, but I wanted to do a whole lot more than that. And I held back, and, you know, I just, uh, you know, I just still in disbelief. And um, I didn't want to be in the ambulance with him, I can tell you that. But uh, we got in there, and, you know, I, I like Jeff. I mean, he, he's a guy that, uh, you know, usually very rational and, and uh, respect his opinion and you know he apologized said it was his fault he said he didn't mean to do it and whatever it's over thanks Jeff Marty Jeff finished 31st here back in April he crashed after leading 124 laps